Run it. You be chillin' that. Uh-huh. You, you be chillin' that. Now they sing, now they sing. You be chillin' that. Keep chillin' that. Keep chillin' yeah. that. The only L I take is legend status Shots they take is bad in practice Lighting up a storm, baby Did you bring the matches on? The realest on the way Fellas, you can rest assured You say you the illest I guess I gotta be the cure Came up and grew up They never thought that I'd blow up Not everybody in the loop Like I've been tying my shoe up And I can hear their mouths running But they just too slow Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel I'm Ananya And today is going to be a special video Because yes, I have done the Valentine Day makeup look I hope you must have guessed it by the color it seems because Valentine Day is like full of pinks, full of reds, full of peach colors and all. So I just thought of creating this one with the pink shade because I guess I have never done it yet. I have never created a look of the pink theme or pink color. So I just thought of creating this look today uh, by using the pink theme because love is in the air. <laughs> And obviously Valentine Day is very special for me because I grab gifts from my husband each Valentine Day. So yeah, this is going to be a special once again and I just thought of creating this look. If you want to know how I created this one then keep on watching. So firstly I am going to use this Swiss Technologies Nourishing Cream and I just think this makes my skin look so much of more healthy. The next thing I'm going to use is Ultimate Pro Meta Glow from Faces. This is the shade Topaz, the shade number three, and I just thought of creating a kind of a tan, shiny look, and that's why I'm moving ahead with this product. Also, I forgot to use the lip balm today, and this is the one again, the Rosebud lip balm, which is one of my favorites. And the next one is the Mac Foundation. Now this is one shade darker to mine because as I said I wanted a kind of a tan effect and next thing I'm going to use is this focus and fix makeup revolution concealer to conceal my under eye bags and the pigmented parts on my face also on the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead as you can see I have drawn the concealing line uh, on the contouring part the beneath of my contouring next one I'm going to use is this L'Oreal Matte Compact Powder in order to pack up all the concealed parts on my face and also I'm not going to forget my neck because I don't want a shade difference. Next one I'm going to use is this Maybelline Brow Pencil and I'm going to do my brows very quickly because I don't want my brows to look too much of bold in this and that's why I'm moving ahead with the Maybelline brow pencil because this is two way lighter than the Sivana one. Next one I'm using is this candle eye pencil. This one is basically used as an eyeshadow. Uh, this is from Rimmel London and I am basically using it just to pop up my eyes more and to give that shiny effect. One, what I'm going to use is the Sivana Colors eyeshadow palette. This is a very mini palette, but it has a kind of so many shades and all of my loved ones. So I'm moving ahead with this brush and this shade. This is a baby pink color and it is a bit of a shiny shade. I'm going to use this on the entire of my eyelid. Now by using this brush, I am going to take a darker shade and going to place it on the extreme corners of my eyes just to give that a kind of smoky look, not much but I needed this combination of pinks and just went ahead with this dark pink shade. So this is how it looks. Once I am done with the extreme corners of my eyes, I am then going to make this shade move on my crease line and to get that depth in my eyes and then I'm going to move with this golden shade and I'm going to apply it on the middle of my eyelid I'm not going to make the golden color look more precise and that's why with the light hands quickly applying it I guess now I'm happy with it so after that I'm going to take this whitest shade and going to use this on the inner corners of my eyes just to make my eyes look more brighter and 
you can see in this way i'm going to apply it on both of my eyes also once i'm done with this i'm going to apply it under my brows just to make them more precise after that i'm going to use this lacme iconic waterproof uh, no smudge eye pencil and this is in the shade white once I'm done with this, I'm going to move on with the dark pink shade beneath my waterline and just going to make the combination effect. After that, using the Nika eyeliner, I'm going to line up my eyes. I'm going to take a bit of a winged kind of an eyeliner, not much, but yeah. So I've used my false lashes off camera because on camera it's not really possible. It is so tough to use them. I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Mascara and the liner once again to line up above my fake lash line. So yeah. Also I'm going to elongate my eyes by uh, bringing my eyeliner more towards inner corners of my eyes as you can see. Then by using the Makeup Revolution Blush I'm going to use this peach shade on my cheeks and using this dirty beauty blender because obviously these shades are going to make my blender dirty so just going to blend that up not much and using this um, favorite brush of mine I'm going to contour my cheeks and this is the shade I'm going to use so I'm not going to give a much of contouring effect in this just a light and that's why I've picked a very light shade bit of contouring on my forehead not much and my jawline just to make my face look more slimmer then I'm using this baking highlight from Sivana colors and this is my favorite shade for highlighting and I'm going to use this real techniques brush uh, to use my highlighter because I really didn't found any other brush close to mine so just pick this one as you can see I'm doing it so precisely because highlighting is so much a favorite part of mine my love for highlighter never ends <laughs> so the next one I'm going to use is this soft matte lip cream from Miss Claire and this is the shade number 11 and this is a beautiful pink shade as you can see and this is like one of my favorite shades these days and I'm like every day popping my lips up with the shade but yeah in this look I just thought of giving it a try because I had a pink theme I'm finally done with all of it has turned up and I'm so happy creating it because my lip color is actually complementing my outfit and my makeup so much that I'm really really in love with this color I'm obviously going to pair this lip color with some other makeup look yes, I just thought of sticking up to the pink theme for this look and that's why I used most of the pinks and peach colors uh, in this look I actually didn't went with any of the bright colors because this is the way I wanted it to be but yes, let me show you the neck piece which I'm wearing. This one is from the Bling Bag of February. And obviously I haven't done the video yet. It would be scheduled, I guess, in the coming week or so. But uh, it is complementing my outfit so much. I just wanted something very simple in my neck and not too much fancy and stuff. And this one is perfect. Let me tell you, perfect. Let me show you. guys so let me wish you a happy valentine day to everyone you out there and enjoy the day with your spouse your boyfriend and stuff so obviously grab the gifts from them because that is very important and yeah if you like this look and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button below so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet and let me know in the comment section how you are going to celebrate your valentine day are you going to be at home the cake or are you going to be partying outside and what else plans you have so just let me know in the comment section below i would love to read them yeah guys that's it for this video take care bye bye keep loving